People are fascinated with crime thrillers, I think, because it's a safe scare. You know, little kids are scared of the boogeyman. They don't want to look under the bed, but they look under the bed because they sort of want to be scared. Crime thrillers give you an uh, opportunity to be scared from a safe distance. You don't have to interact with real serial killers or real bad guys, but you can learn about them through the pages of a book. And it's also about, you know, just being human. I'm a human being, everybody's a human being. Um, so what makes people become evil. I think that that's a fascination with, I could, I could be that person, but for the grace of God, but for the fact that I'm not missing the chromosome that, that that person is missing that allows him not to have the filter that keeps us, most of us, you know, on the straight and narrow and not doing things that are illegal. The first one I ever listened to was about a, a murder of a high school student in Maryland by, they, allegedly by her boyfriend. It was called Serial. It was the first podcast. Uh, really done it. It's still the most downloaded podcast in history. I don't know, hundreds of millions of people listen to it. Um, there was another one called S Town, uh, S standing for an expletive that I won't say on camera, but about this very quirky, unusual guy in Alabama. Um, one that um, listeners over here might really appreciate, and one that I listened to last year called West Cork, it's set in West Cork, Ireland, about a murder of a French uh, woman who lived in West Cork part of the time of the year. A very compelling experience. I was glued uh, to every episode that we listened to, and it was just a, you know a mind-boggling experience. I would I would recommend all three, West Cork in particular.